Hey YouTube, this is Torque Dog here in our video, and today in this video I'm doing a review on Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 2, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. So, the most obvious choice to like where this, what the title refers to is Bran, especially since it shows Bran being knighted here. But she wasn't really a big focus in the episode, no one was really a big focus. Um, I'd say Jamie was maybe the biggest focus, just because of the big beginning. Um, I, I like the beginning where... Uh, Tyrion, uh, well, Daenerys is talking about how, uh, Jaime killed, um, her dad and stuff, and that she shouldn't trust him. Sansa doesn't trust him either, but then Tyrion's like, no, 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 we should, tr we should trust him. And then Bran's like, yeah, yeah, we should trust him. And they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're trusting him. Um, that was kind of, that was kind of funny. Not funny, that was kind of cool. Um, Podrick, uh, so when Tyrion, in this scene, when Tyrion was, like, saying, like, who, who sings here? Um, or this like a few scenes after um i thought the singers would be like either torment or podge like those two do look like singers um i'm surprised torment didn't start singing like he looks like a singer and i think brian is actually starting to like not like as a crush or anything not like love um but starting starting to be interested in um torment she doesn't find him as irritating anymore uh, like how she said she's glad he survived and stuff um, and he was, like, clapping for her and everything, um, even though that doesn't really mean anything, but, yeah, uh, I, th I think she's starting to, like, like him a bit more, which is good for him, I guess, but I still want Jamie and, um, and Brienne to be together, so this, this is, uh, the episode leading up to the battle, so the battle is starting pretty soon, and also, at the very end of the episode, when Tyrion was looking out, how did he how did he even see the white walkers like it, it looked like he was literally looking at them at the at the white walkers but once we see the white walkers you can see that they're actually just really far away so yeah i don't know um and it, i'm glad that they didn't show the night king there because uh how they were talking about like with brand and stuff how the night king would be at the back so he can survive um like a little chicken because normally the leaders or whatever they're at the front of the thing just to show um, bravery, but I guess the the Night King and the White Walkers don't need uh, to be shown bravery. Um, so yeah, Bran reveals what the Night King wants, um, which the actor did say before, uh, Vladimir Putin, Vladimir, uh, or something. The actor for Night King said that it's said that uh, we would find out what the Night King wants, and that's Bran because the Night King apparently wants to kill all of the um. All of these, th the three-eyed ravens, and just put darkness upon the world, which is just you know a general thing. So Jamie and Bran uh, have their little reunion. Reunion. He says sorry, but Bran's like, no, I'm glad you did it, cause then I wouldn't be me, and you wouldn't be you. And it's kind of cool how Bran said like Jamie wouldn't be good if he didn't push him out. If he didn't do that, the one bad thing, he wouldn't be a good guy. Um. So yeah, that that's kind of cool. There's a scene with. Uh, Macy William uh, with uh, Arya and um, Gendry. That was that was kind of I don't know. It's kind of like out of her character. She kind of seems just more like she wants to smash, like Wreck It Ralph style. She seemed like a lot like that in this episode. I did like the part with Arya and uh, the Hound and the other dude, the Fire Sword dude. Um, I did like that when she leaves, how she just roasts them and stuff. Uh, Beric Dondarrion, I, I like that, that was funny. Uh, there was like the thing with Edison, with Ed. Uh, it's like, last man, uh, brings the rest. Uh, which I'm pretty sure he has said before. There was Samuel being basically roasted, uh, by John. It was kind of, uh, passive-aggressive. Saying like, hey, you should be with the family. And then Sam roasting, uh, Ed. And then Ed not kind of roasting sam um i feel like season eight's kind of trying to be more comedic there's like the scene with davos he's like i'm gonna start drinking now or whatever um with the fire once uh, uh torment was like spilling everywhere and there's another scene before too i feel like it's trying to be more comedian uh comedic uh miss sunday and um uh, and uh gray worm they had their little scenes there uh, just them like talking and stuff. It wasn't that meaningful. It wasn't too meaningful. It's just basically like, hey, these two love each other still. Um, uh, honestly, Sansa Stark is my favorite character of this show, on the show, and I did like the Sansa and Theon uh, 
scenes. Maybe they're gonna get together. I don't know. I did really like that. This episode was way better than the last episode. There's Tyrion and Jamie. Uh, there's Daenerys and and John after. So now it's gonna be really awkward between them. I like how John he kind of uh, like he, before he told Daenerys that he's Aegon Targaryen. Um, before uh, uh, he says like my lady or whatever at the the council or something like that, and then he just walks off because he doesn't want to be with her because he doesn't want like make it like incest and stuff like Jamie and Cersei once did. But then again, Targaryen's always had incest though, so in the family. But yeah, this is this was a really good episode. I'm excited for the next episode, which is gonna be pretty long. I um, mean, it's gonna be a big battle the whole episode. So peace out. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe for more of our episode.